Hello, Raw Day. Good morning. <laughs> so, we're going to do some spearmenting. Some spearmenting. <laughs> what do you got in store for me this morning, sir? Well, you know, we had uh, mentioned that uh, you know, the sparkling water in the uh, stove tops gives you a sort of something approaching a crema, or at least that's the theory. So okay. We're going to spearment and <laughs> see if we can. Uh, come up with something like that and okay. then one of our erstwhile commenters at mm -hmm. YouTube said that uh, well uh, we were doing it all wrong and that we really <laughs> needed to uh, pre-boil the water and put it into the chamber and then uh, make our stove top uh, otherwise we're going to burn the coffee. I've never found that to be the case but we'll give it a shot. Okay so what we're going to do two, two separate brews. First one up we're going to start with a talking rain sparkling just regular sparkling water the finest sparkling water you can get for a dollar at the local uh, Safeway. <laughs> exactly. And then next we've got some water on the boil and then we're going to do another brew and then we're going to taste them side by side. We'll see which one's the best, if there is any magic and if there's any rhyme or reason to right. this. Okay, well let's uh, get her going. We'll All be right, right back. We'll fire it All up. Right, so we've got our sparkling water in place. It is sparkling away. It sure is. Okay. But I'm excited this up for quick, this one. So we don't lose our CO2. <laughs> I'm so addicted to talking rain, it's ridiculous. Well, there's worse addictions to have. That is true. This guy's preheating, so I'm all like in a sauna over here. Okay, so. Our preparation is We're in place. Eagerly awaiting the sparkling espresso to sparkling issue forth. Espresso. Do you think it's going to taste carbonated, Rade? I don't know, but it is going to issue forth. It'll be like uh, Botticelli's Birth of Venus. You can hear. A you can hear it sparkle. It seemed like there was a, an early spurt in there. Can we look? Yeah. It's definitely coming out with some, uh, some foaminess. That was pretty quick, though. Mm-hmm. Well, we had preheated. Yeah, well, I guess that's true. It looks very syrupy. It's got quite the uh, consistency. We'll mm -hmm. see how it goes, but uh, it is making a uh, sort of foamy emulsion at the top. <laughs> very interesting. It may see, end up being carbonated coughing. Yeah, so. <laughs> we'll test it on the marketing people first. Hey! So now you've taken it off our heat source. We've taken it off our heat. It's uh, pretty much at the end of its run. Uh, foamy stuff is coming out of it. Th this is a riveting play-by-play. -play this is... Day. Well, thank you. <laughs> I mean, it, I don't see much crema, though. I don't though. see much crema. Well, let's pour it into our cups and see what happens. Maybe, let's taste it. Maybe there's something lurking in here that... For you, darling. Why, thank you. Well, it's quite good. Okay. It's not carbonated. <laughs> okay. But there's no appearance of creme. <laughs> no. Let me taste. Yeah, it just tastes standard. I declare this a failure. Well, I just did a killer at like a why bother. Well, exactly. Okay. Of course, if we were using, you know, good European mineral water. Oh, is that what we needed to do? Well, you needed to clarify your European, request. Well, I apologize. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll be back with our uh, starting with warm water Excellent. experiment. Okay, so after our abject failure, although uh, one of our coworkers he said he tasted a little fizziness. Right, like an Alka Seltzer had been dissolved in his coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly what we were looking for. No. <laughs> so now is your next experiment. Yes. Okay. We are going to take this boiling or very recently boiling water and we're going to add it. Mm 
We're then going to suffer third degree burns to our fingers as we try to assemble the now hot. Only because so we had a wild badger open up our goosey cream. Yes, <laughs> wild well, badger, aka Allison. Yes. She is much <laughs> like a wild badger. She is. After much suffering, Raw Dave burnt his little paws for this experiment. He really took one for the team today. If you can't suffer, what good are you? I agree with that. Suffering gives you character. It does. We certainly have rapid uh, gurgling. Yeah. Still waiting for... Oh, but I see some steam coming out. It's like a beacon of steam. A harbinger. Harbinger of coffee. So, Rade, I have to say, well, we were just saying, I had a couple more sips of this. It's a little strange. Yes. Uh, it's reminiscent of, uh, you know, like prison hooch, like uh, <laughs> orange juice you left out in the sun. It starts to ferment a little, makes your tongue tingle a little bit. You have a, a history with prison hooch? I didn't no, really, I didn't uh, see that on your I CV there, Rade. Okay. I know things. You know things. You have some friends. Okay. The dribbling has begun. Okay. So, Rade, did you notice that there was a considerable difference in the time to brew since we started with warm water, or was it similar? It was a little faster. So, strictly from the standpoint of efficiency, I suppose, uh, preheating the water, but then you have the time to preheat the water. Yeah. So okay. we'll see if it does a, any kind of a flavor story. And, you know, a slavish devotion to efficiency is the bane of the modern age. So really what counts is, is the coffee any good? It's quite hot, but it tastes pretty good. It's definitely stronger than the sparkling water. What about, how does it compare business? to your standard brew? It's about the same. I really don't see any difference in flavor. It is really hot. It is very hot. But it does taste incredibly similar to our original brew. Yes. I don't so see our, that... Uh, our experimentations have produced lackluster results. Well, I would, you know, say abject failure, but we'll keep it uh, positive and say just lackluster results. <laughs> Can't recommend the sparkling uh, water to anyone. No, uh, but maybe if we had gone, you know, and, and dropped a few more coins on your fancy water, it would have been a totally different story. Right. It, it probably just needs to come from the source. And unless we're going to fly me to Europe to uh, <laughs> Bring do back. this, uh, I don't think that's going to work. And <clears throat> preheating the water really doesn't seem to uh, affect the flavor of the coffee any, and Efficiency wise, it's probably a wash. So. Yeah. Mm. Eh. All right. Well, thank you very much for taking these on for us, You're Dr. Rade. Take care. <laughs>